Hello guys, so the throw here I just wanna give you my review and first impression of this game So this review I only took me a long time right because this game has been released for like a week plus and there's a lot of issue with this game so I have a lot of things going on with like exams so finally um, get to play the game and I want to get to the end game before I actually make a review to make sure like it's the best of the best right <coughs> So I got the end game currently now level sixty five, uh, doing all those like greater reef things, and just farming for gear. So this game is very popular right now, about hundred k players, pretty consistent. But this game has a lot of problems right now, a lot of technical issues. That at launch it has like server maintenance for three days. Things like items disappearing from stash, losing progress, very common. Like I actually lost a lot of items that was inside my stash. I also lost some progress when I played. And when you buy a game that is, they said fully, fully released, you expect it to have some sort of um quality check, right? Like not that much of a bug or technical problem this game feels like in beta it has a lot of issues and there was issue like um people using exploits to earn like million of gold and this game was designed to have like an economy um system right a little bit of path of excel once they actually launched the trading system but now no more right because like people are exploiting the bug they they are getting so much gold and items that if they want to have a proper economy into the game they have to reset the entire every everyone's progress right in order to make the economy fair and there's also not just technical issues okay this game has a lot of balancing issues um, there were so there's one the one skill I wanna talk about this skill called uh, bleeding edge. Let me see if I can find it. bleeding edge. It's not it's not selling here, but there's one skill called bleeding edge, and there's many other some skills here and there that is super OP. Bleeding edge it has like four hundred percent of a damage multiplier. Okay, and it's like so broken like compared to other skills in a game like. It's not even close to 400% damage multiplied, right? And there's a lot of balancing issues in this game. Uh, I'm not sure how they intend to balance the game. Like, the game just feels like you kill everything. But I there's some fixes here and there. And there's also, like, some of the notes are really OP. Like, Super duper OP, right? And one of the issues with this game, with the skill tree that um it has been happening, right? It's a bug. Is that, uh, for example, if they say they give you block chance, right? There are some notes that they say they give you something, but they don't give you what they say they would give. So, like for example, if they say that it will give block chance, some even when you take it, you don't get the additional block chance. So there's bug like this, like the things they wrote on the notes doesn't represent what they are giving you. Even in other language, like their yeah, main language, French, because this game is made from a French company. So a lot of issues like this, and it feels like it was rushed. The game was very, very rushed. Uh, there was a lot of spelling errors, grammar error in the text uh, a lot of poor balancing issues and also I want to talk about the skill tree right the skill tree I feel like they should add some artwork into it like if you look everything is the same maybe like for example this one is like 
primarily shoe notes, right? It's the main thing is like defense, shoe notes, defense, right? Maybe they can add a mini artwork at the back, like um a defense, like a shoe pattern or something. If this one is like projectile, maybe add like a bullet or an arrow. Like have some sort of indicator would be nice, right? And I kind of like the system where you can rotate around to and to find the most efficient path uh, to take. Uh, so it opens up quite a bit of uh, pathing, the ways you can path to get uh, different things. But at the same time, I feel like these notes are very not interesting at all. Like for example, if you are playing shoe, right? You will hundred percent get all these shoe notes if you are playing projectile. You will take all these projectile notes, or you are playing sword. You will take all those sword notes. There is no interesting passive notes that um you would want to experiment around because there is no such notes. All the notes are in some ways important to your to the weapons you are playing. So most of the time, you you will take them. So, and there's also like really shitty notes, right? But there's no notes that are really game changing. Like once you take it, there's a really strong effect, and there's like a drawback. But if you are able to experiment around, you might be able to create a really strong build. Like in Path Exile, there's a lot of passive notes that give really weird effects that players do not know at first. But then once they found out how to properly use the notes or the keystones, um, it can create a really interesting build. And in this game, there is none. There's zero such keystones. All the keystones are things that you will take, and it makes out and makes very little build variations. And one of the reason why I think there's very little build variations right now is very little skills in the game. So if you look at the skill bar, right, you can put up to five skills and like six skills. Let's say six skills. So they lock one skill up. So let's say we have five skills. Most of the time, you are going to use one main skill for the build you are playing. So the way you decide the build is the weapons. In this game, you are limited by the weapon choice. So if you are playing, so some skills like um. <sighs> Let's say this skill, right? It says only you can use staves or catalysts. So when you are using staves or catalysts, you will definitely use these skills because for those few weapon choices, there's not much skills that is available and synergize well with the build that you are currently aiming towards. That's what I feel. Like I'm playing a gunslinger right now. There's no actual good skills that. Or actual gunslinger active skill. If you look at my skill tree, there's a few: wielding arrow, stings of uh, Carrion or something, havoc orb, gunslinger brand, the one I'm using right now, and death gazer real gun. So there's a few active skills, but gunslinger is obviously I feel that it's very strong. I use it. The other skills are more like act, um utility skills, right? For example. This one is evasion for mobility. This one is turret for like defense and more damage. Mark of impurity is like curse the enemy so they take more damage. And this one is also a defensive skill. So you can see there's not much active skill in the game right now. Bin the other skill bars you are mainly putting utility skills. And even that there's not much utility skills in the game for for example my gunslinger right now. Right, so even if I unlock the fifth slot here, there's no skill that I, I can put Don't in to nice. help out with my build. So there's very little skills right now, and also one of the reasons why I feel that not many build variations currently. So a lot of problems with this game, but not to say that the game is not fun. I enjoy the game a lot. I feel that it's really fun, but one of the reasons why I feel that I'm having so much fun is like I'm playing Diablo 3 actually This game is very heavily influenced by Diablo 3 I feel like a lot of things feels like they are influenced from other games 
uh, mainly Devil Tree. Even the end game system, which I can show you right now. So basically, this is like a deck, right? Veteran is like your greater reef. Then you can choose which uh, which level of monsters you want, right? You so want? for example, if you choose fifty five. You can add uh, rule modifiers into the skill tree, which give you more magic find, so better chance of good better items. Then once you are done, you can just click accept, right? And the way you unlock the next reef is that you complete three you bosses. You kill three bosses, so meaning level forty three. The next area you go to inside this uh map is level forty four, then forty five. Then you unlock the next one and you just complete three bosses, you unlock the next one and so forth and so on, right? So um system is like they blow greater reef and in some ways uh, no the system is okay but the thing about the end game I feel that Wilson that is good is this system where you are the lord of the area you have to build um, you want you are required to build items. To Lord, it's like a mobile game, it? right? You build shit, oh, and you build um facilities Excuse to you. unlock more more things. So one of the main thing is like to un um unlock crafting. This one is really good to unlock the crafting shit, and this one is like to increase productivity. So productivity is mainly oh. like how fast you can get the bar up and all that kind of stuff. And also like some of the extra things is like this one you can get one free passive points for 500,000 coins. You can get increase these are all like buff and fifth skill unlock. There's also like unlock stash tabs. I really kind of I, I think this end game this system is really nice it's really interesting uh oh before you unlock everything but once you unlock everything maybe not that interesting the because i haven't unlocked everything yet so i'm not really sure there's also system like gems that have a stash full of gems you have your crafting materials these materials are very similar to path of exile like chaos orb um exalted orb they are very similar in a way um they are used and these gems are not like path of exile gems they don't give skills for, but they give stats so for example if my items have a slot of offensive one you can see all these gems offensive one is this one give flat this one give attack speed so this is how and you can rule items so if i go to this vendor here like i can get i can um pay coin to remove the gems from my item or I can roll the socket onto I can roll the sockets of the gems slot. So it's a RNG, right? You you may get like two, one or three slots and you may not get the color that you want. Um and this one are like the gems that you can buy from the vendor. Marvelous. So there's some systems that I really like about this game. Right, there's also a lot of problems. I say that if this game fixed all the technical issues, right? It's a decent game, but I won't see this game being like I don't see it taking over Path of Exile, but maybe it will take over like Day Blow Tree. Because in some sense it's very similar to Day Blow Tree. But there's things that it does better than D Tree that that's why I feel like this game will beat D3. Depends on how often they update the game, right? D3, you know, they're updating the game every season. This game, haven't seen any real update. It's more like balance patch. They've seen like one and then a lot of hot fixes. I'm not sure how often they can put out content. So if you intend to buy this game, I think wait for maybe like one month more and see whether they add any content for now they actually haven't added any content yet because it's only like one or two weeks in maybe one month in we see if they actually add anything because they are a small indie company a small team of person right people and there's so much bug in this game so if they were to put their 
people to fix the bugs they wouldn't have time for more content right like new skills i think new skills is the best way to add more content while having like bare minimum effort compared to really adding more bosses or monsters i think the best way is to add new skills while fixing the bug i think the main thing here is to fix the bug the bug is really bad uh, too much problems here uh, if you were trying to buy this game or you are completing to buy this game you have a fixed budget maybe hold on and wait a while i think because we're not sure how often you update the game to keep relevant there's a lot of issues i think one of the reasons why many people are playing the game right now like 100k players like really consistent 100 plus k players is that the time they released this game was really smart they're fucking five hits right they released this game near the end of path of exile leak so many players from path of exile is like bought of the leak uh they're waiting for the next expansion of path of exile and this game just came up and many players like Path of Exile influencer are talking about it so they try it so the time where they released was really crucial and think it was really one of the reasons why they have such a high player count right now if they were to release this game at the launch of Path of Exile 3.10 the next expansion I don't think this game will be as popular right now and probably might die <laughs> super quick so the time they released was really nice I think one of the reasons why they might rush is because they feel like they want to give they want to put out the game as soon as possible before the next expansion comes out this game has some potential but I don't see it as complex as Path of Exile would be Path of Exile just have amazing end game amazing build variations right now that is built like they built it up upon many years of the Path of Exile lifespan maybe they can take some inspiration from Path of Exile of the other games but for now this game is decent maybe I would say Grim Dawn is better than this game actually but you could if you have money to try it maybe you can try it but I say hold on to your money look out for updates um, this game I'll probably give it like a 3 out of 5 around there slightly above average not amazing but i will still continue playing the game because i want to see how the end game boss is like and there's not much variation in the end game like the monsters are the same the map are not randomly generated all of the maps looks the same feels the same i just want to kill the end game boss to see how it, how it's really like but yeah so i hope that this helps you guys understand the game a little bit more in depth I see there's a lot of reviews out there already so maybe this will help you a little bit anyway if you guys want to check me out I stream on Twitch I'll be streaming Wilson waiting for my new PC to come we will be streaming Power Excel when a new expansion comes, comes out so if you want to check me out you can check me out on Twitch or you can just stay tuned on my youtube channel where i upload guides so thanks for watching